Employees now have the ability to use our Focus School software to view pay stubs and pay history, request an employee information change including your address, contact information, emergency contacts, direct deposit, and W-4 information, and view leave history. This is all housed within the Focus Employee Self-Service. To access the Focus Employee Self-Service, navigate to okaloosa.focusschoolsoftware.com forward slash focus or log in using the app found on your ClassLink homepage. Your username is the same credentials that you use to log into your OCSD computer. When you first log in, you'll see your student information system. Your employee self-service can be found within the ERP tab of the Focus portal. In the top right hand corner, you'll toggle to ERP. The Employee Self-Service tab can be found below the Focus logo. On the left-hand side, you'll see the tab for Employee Self-Service, and you're going to click on Employee Request to request an information change. At the top of the screen, you'll see that you have a drop-down menu. You have the option to change these items, your address, your contact information, you can update your emergency contacts, you can sign up for direct deposits, and you can adjust your W-4 information. Once you submit your request, employees from the responsible department will contact you with any questions or additional information to confirm your changes. Depending on the change being requested, different information will display on the screen. In this example, my address information is being displayed. If I'd like to delete information, I'm going to click on the red dash to the left of the address. I'm going to click OK when it prompts. To enter new information, type your address, additional information, city, county, state, and zip code in the white boxes provided. Then select whether it's primary, payment, or mailing. Then hit enter on your keyboard. If the information currently listed in your portal is correct, please do not request a change. We'll look at contact information. Here, you can update your phone number, your cell phone, as well as emails. Your emergency contacts, you can update the people we contact. If there is an emergency, you choose their relationship and enter their phone number. For direct deposit, to change your direct deposit information, enter the data using the last blank row in the table, then press enter key to save the line of new data or make applicable changes to the existing information. Upload any necessary files, such as proof of changes ma being made. You will not be able to submit the request unless the required file is attached. I can then also see my W-4 information. If you need to update any of this, you can do that here. This requires an employee signature. Employees can use employee self-service to view leave history. Use the tabs at the top to view leave history, leave status, pending leave, and leave earned. Click the balance tab to review leave balances for all leave buckets such as sick, vacation, and personal. The balance tab displays the leave bucket, the amount of time earned, requested an unapproved leave, pending leave, adjusted leave, used leave, the total hours or your leave balance, and total days, the leave balance hours translated into days. It is important to note that the sick leave line reflects the total hours and days earned for both personal and sick leave. For instance, if you use one day of personal leave, it will subtract one day from both the personal leave with pay line and the sick leave line. There are three important tabs to look at. The earn tab displays how leave was earned starting with your pay type, the leave bucket type, such as initial, carried forward from previous years, or accrued, the number of hours, and notes if applicable. The pending tab displays approved leave that has not been processed in payroll. And the adjustments tab displays any adjustments made to your leave time balance. Within the employee self-service tab, you can also view your pay history and print pay stubs. I'm going to select View Pay History. From this screen, you can review the date, check number, hours worked, gross pay, any deductions made, and your net pay. To view each pay stub, 
attached to pay history entries, click the print pay stub button. This allows you to preview your pay stub in a print preview, which also gives you the ability to print if needed. You can click the check history tab to review process checks, which includes the check run, the check date, check number, type, bank name, the account number, net pay, and a voided indicator. If you have a specific check that you're searching for, you can enter the check date starting or ending date. We currently have pay stubs from 2012 to current loaded in our focus. If you have any questions, you can contact our focus help desk at focushelp at